Hello, hello. Welcome back, everyone, to ESA Summer Online. We're still raising money for the Alzheimer Fund. Uh, links to donate, you, you can find them below the stream. And also, a big thanks once again to Kaspersky, Twitch, and Fusonics uh, for sponsoring this event. Now it's time for Xavier running Alice Madness Returns. Take it away. Okay, okay. Uh, first of all, uh, awesome, awesome to have, uh, awesome to be here. Uh, my name is Zephyr. I'm gonna run you this awesome, awesome, the best game in the world, in my opinion. Uh, <laughs> Alice, <laughs> Alice Madness Returns, and uh, uh, I have a couple of uh, commentators with me, uh, the best ones in the world, of course. Uh, can you please <laughs> introduce yourself fast? Uh, yeah, my name is Mr. Afterlife. Okay. And and I'm Owen uh, Nice to meet you. Awesome, awesome. Nice to meet you too. And hmm. On my behalf as well. Uh, okay, so here we go. Here we go. So uh, I will start the countdown without further ado, and uh, then we're just gonna start an awesome, awesome run. I hope you all enjoy it as much as I do, uh, we do. So, yeah, very proud as all this community to be here, and uh, let's hope it's a good one. So, uh, three, this. two, one, go, go. Okay. So here we are, basically. Uh, we are at the orphanage where Alice has been living for the last year or so. Uh, before that, Alice has been living in a, a rootless asylum for like 10 years to get over what happened to her family and, of course, what happened to her as well. And uh, the game starts because uh, uh, Dr. Bambi wants us to get some meds from the pharmacy. And But instead of just doing that, we are um, chasing this white white cat there, and really, really getting lost, <laughs> lost on the way. So basically, Listen, the... it's, a, it's a nice cat. You gotta follow it, you know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I know, I know, I know. It's a like hallucinatory cat, so it's 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 something. You... Alice knows this stuff, following the following the furry things. Following uh, white creatures. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So, so basically, basically every chapter in Alice, which there are five playable chapters, starts with um, uh, this kind of Victorian London stage, and they always end up with Alice having some kind of mental breakdown as well, uh, because Alice meets always at the end. Alice meets some vile and evil people from her past, and uh, and this will happen, and the game will, and the real platforming will begin. Okay, let's continue. Let's go through our basic movement and stuff. Mr. Alfred, can you? Can oh you yeah, definitely. Yeah. So as you're cool. seeing right now, he's doing a bit of a dash, and uh, as you see with the butterfly trail, uh, with dashing, it's the fastest way to get around the map since get around everything, and it'll help us with a couple of jumps that we need to do later on. Uh, next thing he's going to be doing is a couple of jumps. Uh, it's going to be useful as well. Later on, we'll be showing you off uh, something called the glitch jump, where it allows us to have a fourth jump when we're not supposed to. And another yeah. mechanic that we will have is the shrinking. They help us go into really small tight spaces, uh, which helps kind of maneuver through this whole map and area. But also with shrinking, it helps stops with our dashes so we can kind of stop and precisely move a specific direction. And also it helps us to get into specific areas that we're not supposed to, as you'll see later on. And yeah. uh, take it away, Wasabi, with this nice and awesome strat that we got coming up. Yes, so coming up next is a really big skip, one of the biggest of the game, and as you see him now, he's taking the momentum of this slide and keeping it to barely reach the top of these trees, which are actually the boundaries of the level, but he managed to get on top and use those boundaries as uh, literally roads, and he will manage to skip all this big chunk of the chapter 1 by doing so, and he will be also using uh, draw distance abuse. So you will see him really soon jumping into the void and he will land inside a, a wall that you cannot see and make him spawn at the right time we, that will allow him to kind of get pushed upwards and that's our, another trick we use to maneuver in this out of bounds coming yes, uh, right now. Yeah, let's give him a little chance, come on. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see now. Oh, scary. <laughs> Oh. Oh. oh, God. 
but oh, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, this can be pretty tricky yeah, yeah yeah that's the trickiest part of the game pretty much uh, usually usually the only part where um if um basically uh, if uh it would be like a record attempt or something like that that would be the pretty much only only place where i would yeah. Research. It's, it's, Research. Still, it's still yeah. the beginning of the run, though. It's yeah, not like that's a good thing. thing have, yeah, so it's kind of like a quick reset thing. It, yeah, it, at least it's like a weird yeah. game because uh, there's always like um, random things uh, that happen that are out of our control. <laughs> yeah, well, basically. more or less. But yeah, it, it's something that we can recover from eventually. You know, it's the beginning. Yeah. It's not a big deal. It's the only big thing that kind of makes or breaks the beginning of the run. But eh, who's counting? You know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. At least you can get back through quickly. <laughs> You're good at this stuff. So. Yeah, and at least it's kind of a, in a sense, the game that even in my, in my blood record run, in a, um, I lost like three easy minutes there, because it's the game is like that. Sometimes it's a long run. Yeah, it a lot gives of you sometimes, and everything can happen. Sometimes it just takes it away. <laughs> so. Uh, All right. Uh, a lot better. Yeah. There you go. All right. The old clap. Part, part out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Thank you, Wasabi. <laughs> You're welcome. That is appreciated. So basically, basically, uh, that is that that is Alice in its purest form. Sometimes, sometimes you make a skip and uh, you you continue and you still get the record or uh, some awesome time, you know, because um, it's just there's so so much so much uh, to do, so so many skips, so many glitches and moments. So. Yeah. L uh, listen, that's just the first one. We're gonna show <laughs> off how clean this run can get, though. I have strong exactly. faith. <laughs> we, are, we, are, we are gonna no see doubt. that. We are gonna see yeah. that. Yeah, in all this madness, there's always a, oh, there's always good come, that comes out of it, you know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. It we is. gotta feel crazy. We gotta feel mad in the beginning, you know. This is true. <laughs> this is true. Oh yeah, but Wasabi, you wanna uh, sh explain a little bit, like the oh, no. camera? But uh, uh, you can recover. There you go. Yeah, you're yeah. fine. There you go. It's not the worst thing in the world, but. No, uh, eventually he was okay, able yes. to get around that, but let's say that was intended. <laughs> but yeah. the most important part is done and out of the way, reaching the end of the first sec. Yeah, section, we already so. skipped a bunch of things that should happen on this first section. Maybe yeah, you want to... Live skip ends here, basically. So... Yeah. Oh no, yeah. basically, it just ends here. <laughs> yeah. So here we uh, go. So we can actually go through some weaponry and stuff like here now. Uh, after this is the cutscene that only cuts in the game that we can skip, so we can we can talk about a little little about stuff that happens here. And oh, um, yeah. well, Alice Definitely. is going to meet um, meet Mad Hatter if he can help her to get to the bottom of destruction of Wonderland. So here we go. <laughs> yeah. So uh, usually when you're doing this game normally, you have to get the knife and you have to get the pepper grinder, which helps yeah. us progress with the game. But because of this. Very nice thing about New Game Plus is that we're able to have all the weapons unlocked, have them all fully upgraded, and also we have the ability to have dresses unlocked. And there's a reason why we're wearing the red dress, which is normally not here at this time of the game. And it'll come into play a little bit later. But for right now, just just know that it's very important for us. Uh, so we have the knife that usually just hack and slash, and it also helps with uh, triggering enemies so that they can attack us at certain points that we need them to. Uh, we also have the teapot cannon, which is the most powerful weapon in this game, and we can abuse it with a specific mechanic later on. And we also have the pepper cannon that I've already explained, which helps us destroy targets, and if anything goes wrong with the enemies, we can use that to shoot them down. And we also have the clockwork bomb, which helps uh, blow up some boundaries that are in our way, or kind of press switches and whatnot. We also have a hobby horse, which doesn't they play that much into this yeah run. <laughs> there's only only one one a swing of hobby horse in the whole run so <laughs> that's a yeah. short moment but, uh, oh, yeah, yeah definitely uh but yeah so we're gonna be doing our first like glitch jump if you want to explain that yeah uh so so basically glitch jump is the fourth jump that we do and uh it's a uh, after third jump you can you can stay float 
and then release the jump button like so and press it again exactly. forget that it's a used to be a frame perfect uh thing so um but today we have a little new new update to the mechanics so it's a lot easier for the newcomers now to how to get it <laughs> definitely uh man i remember the first days of just trying to learn that <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah me uh, too yeah. But, All right, um, so coming now is another skip uh, that uses kind of the same principles as the nice skip, where he will kind of get on top of the texture, as you're seeing now, and he will maneuver around this wall big chunk, and whoop! Oh, okay, this is no biggie. Perfect. Yeah, this is actually the second strat, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Two ways of doing this. Which and as nice. you see him now, he will kind of fly out of bounds to reach uh, actually a death barrier that comes uh, way ahead in this level and by dying there he will be able to spawn uh, ahead. Part of the game. Here we go. Exactly. Alrighty, so this is where our fighting utensils come in. Uh, normally throughout the whole run there is some fights that we can skip but this is one of the exceptions where we have to fight these enemies and uh, they're pretty easy once you get the fighting down uh, but like I said later on with the mechanic that we'll explain, uh, yeah. it'll make fighting a whole lot easier. Okay, so here we go. You can just double tap. Okay. Yeah, the depot fully upgraded is really strong. And here you're finding the invisible enemy. Sometimes this happens. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna kill you here. Right, so, where's the enemy? Uh, it should be a red. Yeah, yeah. there he is. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Yeah. It's completely random. We have no <laughs> idea why it decides to spawn it or not. <laughs> uh, so but yeah. Go. Okay, here is team. the normal normal way to do this. There is actually a way to just use the, use the box there Look to get up, up, yeah. up there. Alright. There you way, go. Uh, yeah, that's uh, another way of using glitch jump. So, the first way is to get some extra distance, to get some extra uh, platforms that you wouldn't be able to get otherwise. And uh, and the same goes, you, you get some extra vertical uh, height there as well with the glitch jump. So, there's so many, so many applications to use the glitch jump. So, that is the. Yeah. Most most uh, it allows awesome us. mechanic in the in the game so yeah allows us to reach parts that the developers didn't think we could reach it's like a small crack in the game Only that opens a lot of game <laughs> <laughs> yeah. there it is now we will never see that weapon again yeah. just throw it on the back burner it's fine <laughs> if you yeah. blink it you we, missed it we have better we have better <laughs> We can we can just go go whole game with only only using our beloved teapot basically. Definitely. Almost. Yeah. Yeah. Here is a big fight to to make to have a platform appear, but with this glitch extra, again we can just reach here instantly. Yeah. All right. So uh, what he did there is uh, usually when you're going through this area for the first time, you're given a mechanic called hysteria, which when you're at one heart it activates something for you but um because we don't need it at this point we're just gonna we're gonna talk about it a little bit later so we just got rid of it by using a cutscene to load and it skips the animation completely so if you want to go ahead and just talk about this next area yes actually this is a bit of a sequence break uh, usually you should um, fight an enemy there that makes a platform appear and you can go either left or right but actually you can reach the left uh, part with the glitch extra so we don't have to fight the enemy and then for the right part that we couldn't reach once you completed the first left part the platform will automatically appear because the game well, sinks into everything. Nice. Yeah, uh, this is yeah. really tight jump. Uh, yeah, that, that's really tight. It's a really hard jump to begin with but, you know. Now this is the fun part right here. Yeah. <laughs> there you nice. go. Awesome. Oh. Oh, we're just floating in lava. Let's have a nice lava <laughs> bath, you know. Ooh, that was weird. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Little glitches right. here and there makes the keeps the whole thing fresh. <laughs> <laughs> Exciting. Yeah. Uh, 
Here's another yeah. Death Warp example. Yeah. Most definitely the glitch happens during the jump. And you die here, you just drop to the void and it's uh... Yeah, uh that's, that's awful. Let's not talk about that. Yeah. Your cat has <laughs> <laughs> but it's nice. Okay, here, here we enter Domo. So what we we made a deal with the header that uh, there has been a little wholesale takeover in uh, Hatter's robot domain. making factory yeah. here. Yeah, Hatter's domain. And uh, his former friends, the Domos, and uh, here just overthrew him. So, and uh, to keep the factory going, Domos took his legs. And uh, and the hair took his basically his legs. And, yeah. Uh, we promise. <laughs> yeah, we promise to bring them back to Hatter so he can help us. Well, we see that the Hatter cannot actually help us because he's crazy and whatnot. But you know, he will try. Would, would he ever help <laughs> us? You know? No. But no, anyways. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and this Dormouse skip, uh, there was a little bit ledge right there that you can grab onto. And if you constantly move, you'll be fine. But if you stop at any given point, Alice decides to fall off. So it's good that he got that first try. So we can just get the get the arms and move forward. And of course, the Dormouse just disappears out of nowhere. Yeah. Surprisingly. Yeah. <laughs> Here just uh, doesn't care. No he just, he just stays on his horse. No <laughs> yes, he does. Uh, but le let's go say hi to the hair anyways, you know. He's just yeah, chilling, doing his job. Let's go. <laughs> let's go meet him. Let's go. Let's see what if he says something today. <laughs> okay. uh, have you heard the news though? You know? It work until you expire, you know? <laughs> it works until you expire. <laughs> It's it's better to give labor than receive pay for it. Isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, fight that good fight. <laughs> fight the good fight. Yeah. Uh, if you played this game long enough that we have, you'll be hearing that a lot often. <laughs> yeah. In your uh, dreams. <laughs> while he's sleep. <laughs> there are a lot of lot of these legendary sentences in this game as well. <laughs> yeah, really work, work, working, motivating stuff there. Oh, yeah. crap. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. I, At least I, you I blame there. Yeah, this is the best respawn. Yeah. yeah. Oh, the first thing? cycle on this is really, really odd to get it. Yeah, and but... here you will see him. He's setting up a little wall clip uh, by shrinking in this little texture, and that will, should allow him to pass right through the wall and reach a uh, death barrier. Yeah, a little more. Yeah. Just, it oh. does get a bit weird here. Oh, uh, yeah, cool. really nice thing. It that got a bit a scary cool. for a second, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Coming uh, up here is one of the biggest fights in this chapter oh, one. We have to kill the enemies <laughs> and all. Yeah. But you can just get stuck into these walls and just fly up this room to bypass the door that opens only after the fight. Yeah. It's really nice for us. Nicely done. Yeah. Awesome. Alright, alright. Now it's time to go to our family reunion here with the cage skip <laughs> coming yeah, up. Nicholas cage skip, yeah. <laughs> That's really the name of it. <laughs> yeah, yes. it's a, yeah. <laughs> I don't know I who still, named I, it, but... <laughs> I, yeah, I, I mean, it was just a weird name when we first... I, I, I just copied the name, I'm like, this sounds cool, I'm gonna take yeah. it. You um, gotta love it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. Like so, yeah. we're coming up to the hair now. He's doing his job, and he's prepared this whole lovely room for us to go through with a whole bunch of difficult fights and a little bit of puzzles to take care of. But you know, with the glitch jump, we can just clip on top of this, and we can just go say hi to him. You know, he's lonely. Yeah, he's lonely over there by himself. Yeah, puzzles yeah. are way too slow for us. <laughs> uh. There you go. We just wanna say hi. Hello. <laughs> uh, Flexing on him. Okay. He, All right. He, he wants to continue his work. Let's not bother him longer. Let's Definitely go. not. Yeah. So normally, normally the hair would leave and be be preparing our last meeting quite soon enough, but. Uh, 
Yeah. Well, this is the last skip of the chapter. You see him taking his time to set up this kind of clipping into the two corners of the wall to get a launch upwards. But this is quite difficult because if you fail it, as like he that. just sadly did, yeah. <laughs> you, you kind of respawn here, there is nothing to step on uh, below, so... Yeah, yeah, but there's a death barrier under us, so it's not too bad. Yeah, tranquilly. Like, like it's a normal, normal death spot in the end, although... Although we do some weird stuff. Yeah, there nice. Go. Really nice. Ooh, ooh. Careful now. There we go. Yeah. That's how it's, it's done. Yeah. yeah, it's it's kind of like a, you know, just a two to five degrees that you have to turn your mouse like to the right to you know get to the right spot that you can climb after hitting the wall. So it's a it's a really tight tight little little yeah. spot. There. Angle is really important in this skip. Yeah, yeah. And in in Alice, many skips are also camera angle dependent. Plus, the how the Alice actually hits something. So. Uh, it's yeah. kind of a, it's kind of. Ah, nice. well, that was chapter one. Congratulations. Yeah, yeah we just. <laughs> okay. No, no biggie, you know. Just skip off that. <laughs> uh, so. yes. Uh, so, so basically, basically, we met one last time with the hair and the Domos. They were built. They built this huge, like, um, um, steampunk robot. That just broke down immediately when they tried to attack us, and they they died. And the Hatter wanted then had to have a tea party with them, and he died as well when the whole structure and factory collapsed. And uh, uh, last last thing he said was, "Go see the Mock Turtle. Mock Turtle will uh, was the one who ran the Looking Glass line, and we are trying to find out." at the moment that there is this infernal train that is wrecking the Wonderland and um, uh, we are trying to find out if he knows anything and uh, so here we go the yes. next big skip is just around the corner so I'll let you guys let you guys keep on going with the commentary and I will I don't yeah so here you see some implementation of what we were doing before like clipping two walls to kind of get on top of the textures then he will do some Maneuvering around the textures and uh, the um, draw distance abuse, and uh, he will basically use that to skip a bunch of fights and uh, things in this level and reach a death barrier to kind of put him back on the good trail later on. You will see soon. Oh, okay, right. cool. Nice. Now, this was a fast, uh, fast version. Got on top directly. Really nice. Yeah. Yeah, with the glitch Just jump part. again, so glitch jump is really important, even even in OB stuff. Okay. Yeah. Here, here is something that we just have to go blind. There is no, no actual way of seeing how. Yes, and there is actually a dead barrier that we don't want on the middle of the there jump. So. Okay. Oh, awesome. Yeah. There awesome. you go. <laughs> have to avoid that one. We don't like it, but we do like this one coming now. Yes. Yeah, this one is fine. We just gotta go for a lost one. That's all. Okay. <laughs> So, uh, <laughs> we see this bottle, of, uh, kind of, um, sheep in the background. We are going towards it, and when we, when we enter this, uh, bottle, uh, then it's a good spot to read donations, if you have any. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Uh, uh so, I can uh, chill, you know. Uh, I can definitely read out a few things, if you'd like. Uh, first things first, we got a $5 donation from Snow Pirate. With no comment, but thank you so much anyway. And <laughs> yeah, I'd like to remind everyone that there's still uh, that there's a few prizes that you can win during this event. If you make a total donation of $30, you'll be eligible to win this amazing monitor from that pro provided by ViewSonic. Uh, I don't have the serial number right ready. Uh, the the ViewSonic Elite XG270 QG. So, yeah, if you want to be eligible to win that, any total of $30 donations throughout the event, and you'll be eligible to win that potentially. Additionally, Kaspersky has also provided a Nintendo Switch that you could win. Uh, nice. If you make a total donation of $50 throughout the event, uh, you'll be eligible to win that one. So, you know, if you needed that extra little bit of incentive to make a donation, well, there you have it. <laughs> Come on, guys. Awesome. Just a little bit, you know? 
The ESA day. Special Edition Nintendo Switch sounds awesome. really nice. It is, it is, it is. I have the normal edition and... I, I Great. Still... Also, yeah, I love, I love this, I love this area so much, you know? So chill. <laughs> Good, you know? <laughs> yeah, so basically... Uh, so basically, this is there is a couple of mini games uh, during the Ash run. A couple is uh, understatement. There's many mini games in the in the Alice game, uh, and uh, basically they are all basically all played casually throughout. There are a couple of little things that can be done, and uh, uh, but basically they are just in for fun and, uh, and uh, like the uh, for style. Yeah, for style points. Yeah, let's see if you can do it. So, here we go. Oh, first, look, oh, look at wow. that. Oh, the fastest <laughs> I ever <laughs> saw this happen, yes. Yeah, that's <laughs> nice. ESA spatial as well. Yeah. Uh, so here we are. This doesn't help anything, by the way. We are just, <laughs> it's just clipped on the, behind, the, behind the stage because we can. Uh, basically, we cannot get hit by anything, so basically, basically it's a good thing, but... Either way, chill a little bit more. <laughs> yeah, we can we can just chill out and play play with the hands more. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Alrighty. Okay, so basically here we see the Mock Turtle, and this is the ship that. So Mock Turtle was conductor of the Looking Glass Aurelis line, uh, but he was overthrown by whatever is. He's behind the infernal train that's freaking the one lad. And basically um, basically the mock turtle just started to be a wanted to be a ship captain. But it just happened to be that he wasn't really good at it. So we found ourselves at the bottom of the ocean pretty quickly. And we are now continuing to see a carpenter. So basically we are now in chapter two doing carpenters um, errands instead of a headers like in chapter one. Uh, it's kind of a different, different setup. So Carpenter wants to make little good things here happening. Uh, wants to do a show. There you go. And, uh, that's nice. So <laughs> there was he a needs reason to improve why that I aim. <laughs> yeah. So do you, right. do you guys wanna wanna tell me? Uh, tell tell the good good audience that why why I got hit on purpose. So, yeah. Oh, excuse me. Woo. Anyways, uh, <laughs> uh, there are certain parts of the game where we need to get hit a little early to make fights a little bit easier. And if I wasn't clear about Hysteria, um, Hysteria makes it so that you're invincible for a duration of time. And also, with some of your weapons, you can shoot indefinitely until the... or infinitely until, yeah. until, until the timer is over. So we're going to use that to our advantage with the teapot cannon, which... Like I said, most powerful weapon in the game when it's maxed out. It's it's a fun one. <laughs> Let's yeah. just say. It's a, it's really a shooting you see that. Yeah, there is no enemy that can withstand the amount of damage mm. uh, of the glitch depot so, in his area. So it's just really good. And and basically we are playing in nightmare mode, which which makes the, even the basic um, uh, enemies uh, make three roses of damage. And uh, then we also play with the Red Queen dress, which uh, splits our uh, hearts or roses in half. So normally we have eight roses of health, but when we use Red Queen dress, we only have four roses of health. So basically what happens is, when we get hit by lowest uh, enemy type, they make three roses of damage to us. So what ends up happening is, we get one rose of or less health, and we get ready to just um, start the hysteria as we please after that. So that's something. So here is the keyboard. There, yeah. there we go. <laughs> He's shooting really, that, really man. fast. Switching <laughs> between the two weapons kind of resets the timer you can shoot. So that's the teapot glitch. It's strongest attack possible. Yeah. So here we go. Righty. Uh, 
Okay. So the next part of uh, Alistair, the beginning of Alice's task to do is to first go find the writer who was an octopus. Uh, mm-hmm. Coming up, we have to play a hi- little bit of hide and seek with him. And this is one of the instances where we have to use our, te- uh, our pepper grinder. Yeah, he uh, just wants some appreciation and attention. He's an artist. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's hard being uh, an artist in the sea. Yeah, not yeah, much I... people here. Yeah, and fishies they don't they don't care about arts that much, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, as soon as he's done with this, as you see, he has to do this in order to activate the next. Uh, platforms to continue on. After we play with uh, hide and seek with the octopus, we will be gathering up the oysters and fixing the uh, bottlefish. Is what her name is? Yeah, I, I think bottlefish no. is correct. Bottle? Yeah, yeah, bottlefish. We'll call her bottlefish. Yeah, I, t- I forget the name. But who knows? Who, who, who's keeping track? You know. No, Anyways, no. Yeah. <laughs> um, normally what we have to do to fix the bottlefish before we go and help the oysters, uh, we have to go through this mini game. And there's also some oh, fights that we have to do. But this most recent find that we, uh, most recent uh, strat that we found recently, we're able to kind of skip most of the fights. So we go, we just do one fight, we preserve our hysteria, and then pretty much we're just gonna skip through that whole section, as you'll see in the next area. Okay, here we go. All right, <laughs> and like I said, with hide and seek. This is a very important part right here because uh, the developers didn't really uh, limit the distance for these bullets, so uh, you could just hit that bottle and you warp straight to the end of this section. Skipping yeah, so, a fight and everything, it's really yeah, helpful. So, yeah, normally we have to like shoot three or four bottles uh, to uh, to finish the course and do a uh, to uh, to uh, to end this quest. But basically, when we just shoot the last bottle in the sequence, the normal casual sequence, uh, then the the last animation just kicks in and we get to the coral coral, which is the bottle piece. Bottle piece. So, his um, instruments or ears are filled with weird black corrupt goo and we, we have to we have to like Help. We should yeah. have to get rid of that, you know. <laughs> get get rid of that fuel. But instead of that, basically, we are just we are just helping him with the one, and then, then come on, RNG. Oh no, <laughs> the RNG okay, wasn't nice. That's, mm. Yeah, that's, that's a bad one. But it doesn't doesn't yeah. matter in the sense. Yeah, just at this point. Was, yeah. He was trying to get the force roast for the next hysteria setup, but he would surely get it another okay. time. So this is a very precise uh, angle he has to get right here, so we're going to give him a little bit of a moment to get it. Oh. Oh. And... Hey, it looks good. Oh. Really Ooh. nice one. Yeah, that, is a, yeah oh. that is a really <laughs> pixel-perfect kind of thing. Uh, you have to have, have to turn your camera to... Right, like, um, use a... Use the rocks on the wall, of the corners of the rocks on the wall to the very specific points to get that uh, jump in. Yeah. Uh, and this fight without that's... a clear, yeah, it's yeah, pretty it's... bad, sadly. Yeah. Ooh, that's that's weird. I wonder why I didn't go down. All right. Ooh, that was close. <laughs> also, to bear in mind, because we're playing Nightmare, those cannonballs or any swing by those crabs will kill us instantly. So we need to be very careful. Well, Zephyr needs to be very careful here. Oof. Alright. Alright. Eh. Okay. One more. Those crabs are hard to deal with. Uh, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Nice. yeah. Uh. It's just lucky, lucky break that everything, everything went pretty nicely. Just. Uh, the only thing is, if you die, you just have to do the whole whole fight again, pretty much. So, yeah. so that that's it's, the only it's thing nice you want to avoid in that. Yeah. Oh yeah, that one specifically. Yeah. So at least you have full cards, so you don't have to get the flower now. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> so we we be a little bit back time there, 
so that is nice that is really cool so we use advanced to get to these what are these medusa uh, kind of, what are medusa these? Fish, yeah. I think jelly, yeah jellyfish jellyfish yeah so so basically um we um the whole the whole chapter two is based on based on the town section i, I forgot to mention that uh it's just a piece of trivia so town section is based on the uh the, the whole wonderland section is actually based on the uh, uh how the actual uh actual victorian london scene was about so um uh it was actually a marine theme in that one so i think so yeah yeah, yeah. So, all okay. right cool all right so we have uh, another fight coming up which can be very annoying without hysteria but luckily one of these enemies over here gives us enough to get hysteria activated over here so All yeah right. so basically basically we just wanna wanna avoid getting hit oh, come on hit by the crab and we are pretty much golden here then now we just have to get hit just a little nibble come on Come on, RNG. Just jump. There we go. <laughs> and again, this fight oh, has been already right. won. Battle may have just been won, but war is not over yet, my no, son. No, yeah. <laughs> Come on. Is there one more? Stuck, stuck somewhere? No. What? Is there one on the ground? There might be one back there on your left. Oh, no, it just glitched out. What? Yeah, I never saw this happen, actually. Yeah, uh, just do a quick death yeah. warp. Maybe that'll yeah. help. No? Oh, wow. Well, That's a shocker. You, oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, um... That's mm -hmm. weird. Yeah, the game didn't want to be nice there. That okay. usually never happens, but... Uh, yeah, I have, never, I have never, seen, never seen that list before. That's kind of weird. <laughs> Uh, we might need to check that out. <laughs> so uh, actually, actually, did I have to do that already? No. Okay. Here we go. No, no. Okay. That was weird. Go. Oh. Actually, I have four roses, so that's cool. Yeah. That's cool. Come on. Oh. Come on. There we go. Woo! That's close. <laughs> All right, let's try to take it easy here a little bit. Uh, okay. All right. Okay. There nice. we go. Nice, yeah. This is what's <laughs> supposed to happen. <laughs> uh, that is so weird, you know. Oh, Alice, why you have to misbehave and despawn one of the enemies? Yeah. <laughs> At I least you got the roses. Yeah, there I, you go. I, I basically cut the roses there to... Um, to help me if if I happen to be uh, getting the the in the next scene there will be a sailor drunken sailor throwing bombs us again uh, sailor, sailor ghost actually and uh, mm -hmm. and uh, if I get some bomb RNG I can be just uh, normally it can take uh, forever uh, to get him but with hysteria with bomb bomb hit it's um, it's really fast strat backup strat. If he Definitely. doesn't uh, gets uh, in the like rabbit chasing mode. No All right, way. so yeah, so we're just getting this last puzzle piece, and uh, if you want to read a quick donation, you can. I definitely can. I have a seven dollars and seventy-seven cent donation from anonymous <laughs> saying, "Hope everyone is doing well and having fun. Thanks for hosting another event, ESA. Well, thank you for the donation." Awesome. Okay, here's awesome. A, here's the sailor. Sailor, I was talking about. So normally, you would like him to chase the rabbit, like so. That is a good RNG. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Oh, nice first cycle. I like that. Yeah. This is <laughs> this is awesome. So All here, right. here, sometimes we need a few tries to get this one. This is a really tricky one, so you have to turn the camera like 180 degrees to despawn this chapter's um, 
the area the pretty much. Us, yeah. Yeah, actually here there are two death barriers. One that's here and he needs to avoid and then the second one oh. that he needs to touch. And uh, it's yeah. actually pretty tricky, the camera movement there, because it makes the death barriers appear or disappear. So if you don't have the correct angle when jumping and turning, uh, this can happen. But yeah. Yeah, luckily the group cover is pretty quick to get back here. Okay, Ooh. I got the wrong barrier actually. Oh, you have to reload again. Yeah. Uh, uh bu -bu -bu. yeah, it's there. It's area is a little, a little picky. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes weird things happen here, and uh, it's okay. The feels, man. <laughs> oh god! Oh god! Oh, really? Oh, don't want to do that. No, 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 main menu, no. Uh, okay, so the main purpose of why we're trying to skip this is because uh, locker skip tends to just take up a lot of time and it's not really optimal to really do it all. So with this camera angle stuff, uh, we can just skip to the end part of this chapter and... Uh... Wow, really? You might be turning the camera way too quickly. You might want to slow it down a bit. Yeah. I should try oh. that. You're a step here, you got this. Don't you worry. Yeah. You got a whole road ahead of ya. Ooh, nope. A little too early oh. on that. Or a little too late to jump. Mm -hmm. Jump. There you go. There you go. Yes. Oh, yes. Man. Nice. Oh, thank god. Gosh, oh, I, I, so I hate this jump. I really do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but that, that's a tricky part in Alice, you know. Sometimes, sometimes stuff, stuff just... That's the hard, hardest, uh, hard <laughs> part of Alice. Sometimes, uh, uh, sometimes the barriers don't work to your favor and some... Uh, but um, basically it's just... Basically it's pretty much just runner sucking <laughs> if you fail. But there are very little, very little things that can, you know... Uh, make the difference of um, good, good skip and a bad one. So uh, definitely, there's a lot of stuff to remember, actually. So yeah, that that particular one is clearly really hard to get sometimes. Like the camera angle and the jumping on the same time, pretty precise. So yeah, this is this is true. It's understandable. It's true. Yeah. Alrighty, that's the end that's of so chapter tricky. two. Who? <laughs> <laughs> that is so alright. Nice. So we're just gonna go through another section right here, another yeah. walking section. You want to explain, it, or do you think we have time for another donation? Uh, we can we can read another donation if you have if you have one. I was about to ask whether whether I could read one, and well, there we go. So yeah, we have a fifty dollar donation from Rev NL saying, Ooh. "Yo, to all my brothers and sisters, smiley face, keep up the good work, ESA. Thank you so much for that donation." Fuck donation. Awesome, awesome. Perhaps I'm fated okay. to expire right So, here. basically what uh, what we're doing here now is basically we wanted to go and meet Alice's uh, family's old lawyer. But he has disappeared somewhere. And uh, Alice is pretty much the mind is collapsing a little bit more and more. So, uh, the Wonderland is merging into, uh, into the Alice's real world. Uh, quite, quite the nice line and, between uh, reality and fiction is fading yeah. away. Yeah, so we enter the Veil of Doom now, which you can see on the background. And the Veil of Doom is actually, actually a Veil of Tears, uh, the first, first part of the, when we first entered the Wonderland. But after, after big destruction of the train, so. Use the umbrella, there you go. Cool. Uh, yeah, really, so that's, really nice timing. Yeah, that's that, that's that's the first time we're dealing with the three-headed monster. Um, yeah. it, it that enemy can be a pain in the butt. Mm, yeah, yeah. yeah. With, with Some, hysteria, he can Johnny take Allen, a lot of time. Yeah. Yeah. And there's also a certain chance that he might use block use his arm to block himself, which causes him to be invulnerable, yeah. or yeah, which just makes it nearly impossible <laughs> to kill him until we wait for his animation to finish. 
Yep. There are some enemies that are in nice. in, in certain thanks. Uh, certain um, states uh, of their animation, like a dollar girl as well. When she's breathing fire, she cannot be hit, and uh, there's just a very little one can actually do about it. Yeah. yeah. Alright, so this, this is called the teapot skit that's coming up because we already have the weapon, we don't particularly need it at all. So uh, this one's a little tricky, so I'm gonna give him a chance to do this. Nice. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, ooh. Ooh. That that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice, but good job. Good, good stuff. job, yeah. Oh, really, really clean sleep, skip. That first yeah. jump is some kind of annoying sometimes because you can easily go too far ahead of it. Yeah. So, really nice oh, that yeah. he got this first try. Okay, yeah. It's a, it's a really like, uh, like a size of the depot the platform that I try to just jump there and then when I jump from that the game beats so that's 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 nice that's nice that I got it really good really 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 awesome happy about that <laughs> yes so you, can you, you, you made up all the lost time in locker skip you know we just put that put that aside that's that's not important anymore <laughs> <laughs> that is not at all important what is important that we just succeed on that yes. we move forward Indeed. with the infernal train yes Man. this is true <laughs> all course, right yeah. yeah all right so we're coming up to the next portion of this chapter and i think it's one of the most elegant Chapters in this whole game. Definitely. Yeah. Come on, what is? Ooh, Ooh wow, that lag spike. Yeah. The game yeah you've been getting so a lot of random lag spikes as of recent. I don't know why. It's weird. Yeah. Mm. Well, it's alright though. Yeah. These kind of no, things happen at least in the uh, sometimes, but the lag spikes aren't actually so so common, but. Uh, but in in the in the first part of the 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 last part, Veil of Doom section, sometimes they do happen, and uh, and but that is something we can we can live with quite easily. We are not we are not yeah. too worried about those because that's the life of running Alice. Sometimes you you get you know yeah caught by the you know in environmental <laughs> stuff. So. <laughs> Sounds like. <laughs> Stay focused. <laughs> you have to keep your cool. Yeah, yeah. Cool, nice. All right, all right. So this is our little heart jump here. If you're not careful. There we go. Nice. Good, good stuff. <laughs> okay. All so right. So we're gonna so we're gonna so abuse so another out of bounds thing coming up, which would be so nice. Oh, actually. Yeah. Yes. Uh, let's just deal with these wasps. One of the one of the annoying enemies in this in this game. They are quite an annoying, isn't they? Uh, they are, yeah. Yeah, yeah they're, they're, their fighting pattern are just completely random. But luckily, we have the clockwork bomb, which makes it a little bit easier. Or unless you hit them in one shot, like you're doing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so so basically, you can you can uh, wait until the certain spot of their like hitting animation, and then you can just shoot them uh, with. Uh, uh, like one of them, but uh, it's a it's a pretty consistent one. But it needs a uh, practice, so it's um, sometimes better to just drop the drop the bunny and go go with that route. But uh, on that particular point, I I like to just just try to out out maneuver the samurai. Okay, here we go. This trick uh, can be a little bit complicated. Sometimes a wall spawns here and avoids you to reach the death barrier, but went smoothly, so it's perfect. Yes. We like that. We do. We do like that a lot. Okay, oh. so here is the first mini game of chapter three. In chapter three, there is actually a three different mini mini games. There are actually not so many mini games. They are like three minutes, two minutes, two three minutes long each. So, uh, so, it's nothing yeah, really we can really do to kind of speed it up, but hey, it's a perfect time, you know? Free donations, say anything that's on your mind, you know? 
cooperation. Yeah, it's I true. Can, uh, yeah. Flourish. Please, if yeah, you have donations, please. Oh, that, uh, I mean, I can tell you, tell everyone a little bit about the Alzheimer fund then, because, please. you know, oh, great. Yeah, because yeah, we're currently raising money for the Alzheimer Fund, and then that's the, that's the Swedish national fundraising organization uh, focusing on the Alzheimer's disease and other dementia-related diseases. Uh, thanks to gifts and wills from private inv individuals and companies, uh, Alzheimer Fund was able to distribute almost 30 million Swedish crowns last year. Uh, but still, the money is not enough to be able to support all important projects that lie ahead. The, the Alzheimer Fund could only grant about 19% of the funds they uh, applied for. So there's definitely still so much more that they can uh, do for. So the, the goal of the Alzheimer Fund is to be an important research financer uh, in this work to get maximum dividends on the research money for affected patients and their relatives. Uh, in the absence of effective medicines, it's, it is important to research the best preventive measures for Alzheimer's disease. Because more efficient is always better. Well, want me to still talk more or? Go for it's... it. We're still, we still have a little ways to go in this. No, no, oh, yeah, right. it's, it's okay. If you have something, please do, because uh, it's, the, it's the main point. The whole marathon is to is to get collect money money to uh, grow a good cause and it's a, it's a, it's nice nice to tell people a little bit more maybe about the, the charity. All right, so yeah, I'll also enlighten a bit about Alzheimer's itself. Then, then Alzheimer's it's a progressive disease where dementia symptoms gradually worsen over several years. And in its early stages, memory loss is mild, but with late stage Alzheimer's, individuals lose the ability to carry on a conversation and respond to their environment. Uh, Alzheimer's is the sixth leading cause of death in the United States. On average, a person with Alzheimer's lives, uh, lives four to eight years after diagnosis, but can live as long as 20 years, depending on other factors. Mm. And yeah, Alzheimer's has no cure and cure, but treatments for symptoms are available and therefore research continues. And that's why it's so important that we still keep raising more money for the Alzheimer's Fund. Uh, current treatments cannot stop Alzheimer's from progressing, but they can slow it, the worsening of dementia symptoms and improve the quality for those with Alzheimer's and the caregivers. So yeah, for anyone, I'd, Personally, I have like I know multiple people with Alzheimer's. I, I think it's a great thing to be raising money for, and really it's definitely, any, more definitely, yeah. Every dollar is very, very much appreciated. Yes, and uh, here uh, we are actually actually entering the next part. This is called uh, the Monastery of Self Valley. There's a couple of little tricks coming up right as we go. Um, nice. So we gotta just shoot, shoot the first tombstone before... Most of the chapter 3's uh, actually battles are um, kind of uh, nicely choreographed, so there's actually a way to do them really fast if, if one doesn't <laughs> mess them up. And so far they've been really nice. And, uh, they have. I'm just yeah. worried about the samurai later. <laughs> Oh, the samurai. Oh, the general. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the daimyo. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a one little little thing. Uh, just a, a couple of seconds of skip. Then in my world record run, for example, I, I lost one minute to it. Uh, because uh, because of um, uh, it's a like. Let's just say the bugs are not nice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's in nightmare mode. Uh, fights can be really hard to learn and to master. Because it can go wrong really quickly. Like you just get the wrong hit, even if you're four health, or maybe your hysteria just went off, and uh, and you're good for a big step back. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, also here, it is really nice. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Definitely. Yeah. This this little thing is pretty high, but if your slide is good enough and your momentum is good, you can just pretty much skip this whole entire part. Although yeah. there is an alternate way to get up here, but because he made the top part, we don't have to worry about that anymore. Yeah, and but, uh, one of the great parts is that it actually saves some time, like 20 or 30 seconds, but uh, it also uh, uh, stops the, any enemies to, um, to spawn. 
so it's a less risky way as, as well to do this this part of the map oh yeah 100 <laughs> percent. yeah it's a it's kind of a lot of stuff has been uh, is is been spawned to that platform there that we just just did to prevent us to from uh, pulling that lever so uh, <laughs> most definitely most definitely awesome awesome that we got it okay here we go so so the daimyo wasp is the part that mr afterlife was just referring to it's just just uh, coming after these three normal wasps that should go should go in a few seconds oh man that was that was a little close oh guy behind <laughs> he's headless Really? Oh! <laughs> Alright. Whew! At least you have four hearts. <laughs> yeah, I, I counted on that. Get to the tree, Alice. The teapot was the loaded, boss. I knew yeah. I can take it. <laughs> I knew I can take it. Yeah, that's strong. Thank you, Alice. Yeah. So this Coming is up part. next is uh, a, little, a little skip of this door, but you actually have like only a short try because he has to step on this tombstone. Which is actually a spawn for an enemy, so if you mess this up and the enemy spawns, you, you cannot awesome. do the skip anymore. But here, he just did his first awesome. try, which is yeah. perfect. It, it always like raises my pulse to like a 20% at least. Yeah. Okay. okay. Momentum's good. Yeah. We don't want to touch any of this black goo because if the black goo gets to us now, uh, we will get Perish. killed instantly and go back to the. I don't have enough momentum here. Okay, uh -oh. um, so we we get back to the uh, the Daniel oh. skip again. Yeah. <laughs> so. so we we need to make sure we don't have to restart here. <laughs> Yeah. Yes, since we skip a bunch of things, we skip also respawn barriers, and that makes the run a little bit complicated. Oh, yeah, he was trying to attempt like a really hard jump there. It's kind of difficult. Oh, no. You have to go. Yep. Oh. Yeah, sometimes the enemies spawn in and they tend to not, not move because it's confused on what to do. <laughs> I guess, yeah, I just kick in. So now we just have floating insidious ruins just sitting there. Yeah. Just chill. You know, they just drop us a rose, you know. They're trying to be nice. They try to be. I need a little bit more, like, one one half of a rose would be would suffice now. Uh, isn't there, like, a f like a bundle of stuff you can grab very soon? I see even a little enemy here. Oh, yeah. There you go. Yes, okay. Yeah, now I can just take one more, one hit accidentally before uh, the next save point. If need be, but uh, I don't want to get hit. But here we go. Yeah, it's unfortunate as well that even though you get all these hearts, if you don't get hit, kind of a time loss because you still get full hearts <laughs> when you enter the next area. Yeah, it's, it, yeah. it's weird. It's, for some reason in this game, there's some areas where you just get full health when you enter the next area. It's very strange. I don't know what the developers were thinking at the time, but. <laughs> uh, it just works, but <laughs> trust yeah. works. Even if you die to these wasps, you still get get back spawn to the dinos. Uh, so that that's one one thing that I wanted to avoid. So yeah, I, get like hit here. Yeah. I don't I don't get uh, sent back. So it's definitely definitely something something we A bridge want to will complete the Okay, path, but here we go. Substance has blocked the way. A little hard. <laughs> Not too hard because you have my stair right now. Yeah. Just one hit again with the basic attack of the fire grade enemy, and here we go. We can just wreck about all around. And and because marathon, I will I will take take these roses as well, just to avoid those extra accidental hits that may appear here. <laughs> yeah, and uh, I don't I don't I don't I don't want to have to suffer anything accidental now. <laughs> Making this even more maddening than it should be. Yeah. Also, for some reason, when you're in animation, you don't take damage, so that's nice. <laughs> Just have a couple of rose petals hit your back. It's alright. <laughs> yeah. 
So, uh, so yeah, it's a it's a really good because otherwise that that kind of uh, animations there would be insane. Because if I would take damage I, during the animation, I would die in this room like instantly. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so here we go. Okay, this room is pretty much done already. Uh, there's a couple of little things that I. Yeah, just uh, one enemy, you're good to go. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Cool. Nice. Okay, All right. Cool. So we're just gonna take a stroll. If you wanna read any donations, you can. Well, no current donations at the moment, but I can plug. I can talk about some donation incentives coming up, though. Ooh, go for it. it. Sounds nice. Yeah, we could definitely got a very, uh, we got a ton of them. Still, good ones open. Ones that are coming up soon is uh, the uh, for Devil May Cry Five, the Devil May Cry Five run. The watching the false head cutscene, which is, uh, if the donation incentive will be met, you, you'll see the cutscene where Dante gets his new weapon, the false head, and then dances to the music. And I think I'm dancing is always fun, right? Thank you. Really, uh, <laughs> so yeah, currently that's one hundred seventy-five dollars out of two hundred dollars. So we're almost there on reaching that incentive. So only twenty-five dollars left, and we can see that happen. All right, let's let's make it happen. So it's fun. <laughs> A lot of fun. Okay. So when there's dancing involved, is always fun. But I go on what we say. Here we go, here we go, okay. Next there is uh, just a little, little, uh, little skip uh, with, um, uh, with, um, dragon's heads that I jump on, on top of after this one. Like I said, the, most of the, most of the skips here are, um, highly choreographed. Uh, most of the, like, uh, battles, I mean highly choreographed so they do not take a lot of time unless something like this happens um okay here we go and nice so that the strength of the rabbit taking the aggro from the enemies can be really helpful sometimes yes most definitely and okay let's see if we can still make it it's a really tight spot now yes okay you can see the flames on the right side. Yeah. Just you don't want to burn your dress, the beautiful red rose threads. No, I do not. No, I do <laughs> not. That would be a shame. Um, I only have this one. Otherwise, <laughs> give me, other dresses give me too many roses. <laughs> <laughs> so, here we go. All right, the second mini game is coming up. And, uh, and the, uh, ba ba basically, I can I can tell a little bit about the, the story itself in, during this one. Uh, so, so in chapter three, uh, basically, Alice uh, in the at the end of each chapter, basically, Alice gets sent uh, forward by um, by the basically the the cruel interlopers attacked uh, at um, instead the of person them all he advice. tried to help the in the in that past chapter so this time Carpenter so just says that uh, maybe the caterpillar who is the the right um uh, uh, like a re representative of all things knowledge and um he's the wise his, yes yes yeah. and um, if any anyone he would know what is going on so so basically, basically we are trying to go on top of this Caterpillar's mountain, and uh, while we are doing that, um, we actually got shrink down, but we skipped all, of course the cutscene and the uh, actual um, actual mountain is something like uh, uh, origami and nest, so that is uh, invaded by this this weird asp so they got presents alice's mind and the corruption that is in alice's mind at, as we speak and the uh, caterpillar then uh wants to put things straight on and we, we start to get a nice picture about about what's going on and uh, who is the main main um villain of the story and the main villain of the story is actually dr bambi although we haven't been talking about that but um so basically, we we in in the end of the game we we will encounter the Bambi again, and uh, 
We'll, yeah, we'll do some things. We'll do some very nice things. We'll have a nice chat, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice chat. But, for, yeah, but first, I think we have to deal with one other entity in this whole madness. <laughs> yeah, after this chapter. <laughs> when the time comes, she shall return. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alrighty. Now, this next part. Whew, it's, it's a wild roller coaster of fights, I should say. Uh, there is three difficult fights in a row. Uh, first one, you just start off with fighting two three-headed beasts at the same time and a couple of insidious ruins, which Yo, can yeah. be a pain. Luckily, we can activate Hysteria very soon. And yeah, and for uh, luck, uh, you know, go on. Yeah, after, after the Hysteria, basically the worst part is is to um to make sure that you get enough roses. Nice umbrella hit there. All right, let's yeah. hope that last one drops. Oh, yep, yeah, last one. Cool. Let's hope he drops one. Ooh, Oof, you, you have to You better hope you get those at the samurai wasp or whatever. Yeah. The wasp. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully they drop. So there is next. We need a little, little more, just a little bit more, just something uh, three plus anything. Uh, is the thing what we want so yeah. uh, to to then get hit in the the biggest fight the last fight of this sequence uh so um yeah so let's say point. yeah let, this enemy coming up we were supposed to deal with it like a couple chapters back and uh, i guess we skipped them all so we're gonna deal with them <laughs> now <laughs> and let's say it's yeah. the biggest pain in the butt that we, any speedrunner who speedruns this game is gonna have to deal with and yeah, that's the wasp. <laughs> but first, let the wasp drop some flower or roses. Would be oh, nice. Come on. Okay, no roses here. Oh, okay. Oh. Tight Ninja wasp. Oh, God. You break the glass. You have the, yeah, exactly. No on RNG. Wow. wow. That is, uh, go for the pots on your left. See if you can drop any. No, 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 inside, inside. Inside of that. Okay. You better hope there's roses on the left or right, whatever it was. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, that should be. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, this is boy. Be hard. You got it, though. I have stuck. The stopped. worst rose RNG I oh, ever saw man. in the section, for sure. Oh no. <laughs> oh god. Oh no 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 no. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> oh jeez. Uh I think it gives you enough here. You might want to check quickly. No. No. Wow. Man, that RNG was terrible. Oh. Oh, oh there you go. Yeah. All right, just make sure you get hit once. But there we go. Nice. Oh my goodness. Wow. Uh, there we go. Okay. The teapot so, yeah. shower. Yeah, the second phase of the fight's not nice because you have to still blow its baby head off. But, uh, hey, doll baby head. Let's specify that. We, we do not condone that kind of stuff. But... This thing is trying to kill us, so we have to. <laughs> yeah, this is true, this is true. Okay, and uh, this actually gives us the hardest possible RNG, actually, also for the last big Damio fight there. Uh, because we still have no three roses, and we are still even a even little less than we started with, so... Um... <laughs> In there, I won't... Uh... Uh, uh, we'll... Let us see. Let us see. It it becomes very very early. It be, uh, really fast. It becomes kind of a very good puzzle game. <laughs> how to how to do, how to go past this these little little problems that occurs like uh, quite quite rarely. Uh, so okay, but uh, I see no problem. I just shoot. In general direction, they'll die. That's what's so <laughs> the way. 
Oof, let, let be on your side, friend. Luck be on my side. You know, on the end lock, it's two shoots off, off the target, so. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. weird. Oh, oh. No. I guess that's, guess that's okay. <sighs> okay, happens, happens. What? Oh, oh that me. Okay, I'm it was a, okay, it was the arrow, man. Okay, arrow was. Okay, here we go. Here we go, this. Okay, man. Four, no, still, I got only. Just, just, just play. Baby. And then once you defeat all those four, just get on top of the stairs with. Your teapot cannon all empty. Should be good at that point. What the? <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh, hmm. oh RNG. The camera moment is really weird. As well. Yeah, it's just bust just really fast as well. So it's hard to, yeah. Alright. I, 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 yeah, I have to have camera lock on so to hit those dudes. So I, I don't actually see what is going on behind me, so that is, that is harder. Yeah, you might want to hit that samurai to stun him if he goes into that mode. Like that. Hey, oh, oh, never mind. Okay. Shot. Okay. It's a rush right there. Yeah. Oh, oh watch out, watch out, watch out. Oh, oh, oh yes, yes. Oh, oh, the clutch, oh. the clutch rose. Perfect. <laughs> oh my god. Perfect to kill the boss really fast here. If not, he would have taken a lot of time. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that oh. was. Little <laughs> clap for the clutch, the clutch hysteria there. <laughs> that is, that is, that is something that really gets those sleepy. At least you can relax on this mini game a little bit. Yeah, yeah. This is awesome actually. This is awesome actually here. So we are still, still trying to get. Um, it's actually a little side story that the Cater Play is uh, telling us as we go on. But doesn't actually benefit the story at all here. Um, but um, basically, it's uh, it's uh, it's just uh, inside the chapter three. There is this uh, origami wasp monks basically gets um, gets over overthrown by the wasps, and uh, it tells a story about the struggle. Uh, but it it doesn't actually actually. It's it's kind of this mini game story in itself, so yeah, you know, we don't have to care about that. <laughs> but what we do care about is actually the the Alice next Alice Asylum game is coming up quite soon, and we are really hype about that as well. That's actually true. Yes. 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 I, I the guess third part of the series. Yeah. So it's like uh, I guess, uh, of course, uh, nothing. Pe people haven't said anything, but I guess it's something like. 2021 or something like that it's, it's coming out hopefully it's exciting <laughs> i'm excited I'm yeah really excited. Um... <laughs> yeah it's uh... been like it's been like nine years so i i hope quick release <laughs> let's hope man <laughs> yeah, we can always uh, yeah uh you got any new donations coming in anybody intrigued <laughs> Not at this point yet, but I, I mean, I have plenty of stuff, I, other stuff I can talk about. Uh, for example, the, the, we got plenty of donation incentives during uh, this week, and one that's going to be happening later today, technically, is for the Crash Bash Any% percent run, where oh. it's going to be for the No Movement Space Bash Crystal, which basically there's like this one challenge with a high chance where the AI will lose by... The runner not doing anything but it's just like that uh, mario party like where luigi does not do anything and wins that's basically what will be shown off uh, during that uh incentive currently 165 dollars out of 350 dollars so that one's still a little bit away but if you want to see like a speedrunner 
winning by doing nothing. That's <laughs> like that, that's amazing. clearly something to see. Yeah. Uh, if only we can do that here. Makes it. <laughs> a lot it's yeah. a bit the opposite in this game. We have to do so much things. Uh. Yeah, there actually, I, I think there's. If if one would like to do every skip in the game, I think it, there's like a like close to like hundred skips that one can actually do, more or less, uh, in the in different parts. And if you if you count all the all the different uh, glitch jump uh, skips as well, clearly. Yeah. yeah, come on. Ooh, that was weird. <laughs> yeah, there was oh, a little okay. input input lock. It's it happens sometimes when you when you keep your um, inputs pressed down while the while the next chapter is loading. The next part. So here we are. We are entering actually the part bridge. And we are we are going to the last ruler of Wonderland, last evil ruler of Wonderland, which is the Red Queen. And um, and we actually see that even the uh, the Red Queen's kingdom isn't what it used to be. So we are just um, trying to get get to the bottom of who is who is corrupting Wonderland and why. And uh, we are getting quite quite close to it. And chapter five is just. Just about getting us closer to the end. Yes. Get I will them. say, this is my favorite part of the game. The no, card the bridge. Is. Oh, it's so elegant. Actually, this is my favorite chapter altogether because of how short it is. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's actually... Uh, oi, oi, oi. Okay, here we go. Okay. A lot of momentum there. <laughs> yeah. That's we... scary. At anyway. the end of this uh, card castle thing, there is a big castle that spawns. Uh, you're going so fast that it really spawns right beneath your feet, so you'll see soon. It's so pretty, actually. Yeah. I really like this part of this chapter. It's not my favorite chapter, but this part is really takes the cake, for sure. Yeah, here we go. Here is the inverted jumping order, so I use, use my mouse actually to jump there instead of my space bar. Because otherwise. It doesn't work. It doesn't work with the keyboard and mouse. Okay, here we go. Here, check this part. Boom. It's gorgeous. <laughs> you barely touched the, the top of that. Yeah. <laughs> but the mushroom is the goal, so that, that we yeah. have to touch. So here we go. So, yeah. So, so next is actually the executioners keep coming up, so... We can we can talk about that a little bit, maybe not yet, but quite soon. Uh. Yeah, first of all, you will see how he keeps the the slide momentum and he dodges this first barrier. That's to avoid a, a cutscene trigger that makes us walk really slow. So he saves a couple seconds here. And so okay, and we are. Done with pretty much with the, with the following bridge, and next after this, enemy is pretty much when we it's a casual is the what we call the execution skip, which is a long and uh, one of the one of the hardest hardest skips in the game as well. Definitely yes. Yeah, one of the one of the points are the, of course the, um, that the world keeps. Oh, the world Ooh. keeps actually. Despawning quite a lot, so. Oof. I think it takes you all the way back, right? Oh, yeah. Lucky. No, yeah, you're fine. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I get like uh, a. the fight, there's. Uh... Yeah, otherwise I wouldn't do that if I would go yeah. back to the slide. Yeah. Yeah, that would be like. One of those things. That I, you know, I don't like to do. High risk, low reward kind of things. Okay, here yeah. we go. The executioner skip. I have to concentrate uh, a bit, a little bit here. So. Yeah, so let him focus. I'll, I'll explain a little bit in depth of what's going on. So, uh, it, there's like a little collision there that causes Alice to kind of get stuck in the wall, and we do this thing called a quick shrink, where we just tap the input for the shrink quickly, and uh, we're able to nudge Alice's. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oof. Ooh. Okay. That's good. Right right in time, yeah. 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 Uh, so it makes Alice kind of climb that. We also have to change camera uh, Alice's uh, rotation just so she actually stays in there. And uh, it makes us so that we can kind of climb up to the top of this and skip a whole chunk of chapter four. 
So as you'll see coming up, uh, we're going to do a little bit of out of bounds, a little bit of jumping into the void and watch the magic happen. Ooh, okay, there you go. Very nice. The rest will go pretty easily. Oh no! Oh, oh yeah, that okay, was my bad. Okay. Yeah, I'll just do it with this one. Oh. That was weird. That was weird. That was. Yeah, I never, bad. I never saw you mess that one up. Yeah, I have never <laughs> met that one before. <laughs> but it, but it's, a, it, it's a really small, really small <laughs> jump. Right there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, something we didn't talk about yet is the, what we use to find all these uh, glitches and out of bounds. Like, it's a tool we have, and we are lucky to have. Uh, it's a debug mode, which kind of shows all the edges of the collisions, of the textures and everything. It shows the death barrier, the triggers for the cutscenes and everything. So it's definitely a really nice thing to have in this game for everything that has been found and that is yet to be found because this game has a lot of potential yet, I'm sure of it. So really nice tool. Okay, we are back in business. Nice. Let's hope. That everything goes well this time. Okay, I will just open this. Okay. Nice. There you go. Yeah, it's a it's a really small platform actually under there, so it's a kind of a hard Ooh. to do little little jump there you just have to use visual cue without seeing what what you are doing so but yeah, yeah. That, is yeah. So, that is something i will try this because um it might be but it was actually my fault i spoiled it by saying the rest will be easy now <laughs> <laughs> i apologize for that i owe you a full 30 seconds at least. <laughs> no, I owe you because I messed it up. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, look, guys. let's just play a little chess to calm down. Yes, <laughs> yes, indeed. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, yeah okay. Run, run, run <laughs> no, no calming down. Nicely, actually, so. <laughs> so let's 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 concentrate the next stuff. Always the next stuff. Um. Uh, uh, uh. So here is actually the first time we get chased now by the executioner. Normally, without the executioner skip, we would have been uh, having a fight with the executioner in there, uh, and we are not able to kill the executioner, so we just have to avoid it while fighting and whatnot. So, so that is that is definitely why yeah. why we are doing the. Yeah. Do not get combo, do not get combo. Okay, here we go. Alright, and there he goes. Yes, the good part. And the roses are back as well. Yes, good. Yeah. Good, good, good. Oh, yeah. Does not overstay. Perfect Perfect guest stays stays home. home. Like everybody in COVID season. <laughs> Please wear your mask and stay safe, people. It's no joke. <laughs> just, just listen to the queen. She gives good advice. Yes, the queen should rule the wonderland. Yeah. She yes. did at one point, but you know, she kind of screwed herself over by letting Atlas get too close. Yeah, yeah, that is the, the some some good monarchs get screwed over. Okay, now I don't get it. But uh, if I get a really you... good restart here. Yeah, um, but if people are interested to play both of the games, I recommend you get Alice Madness Returns. It usually comes with the first game if you purchase it. Yes. So, just a heads up. 
Jesus. Okay, here we go. I just I checked that out. I'm at, I'm at correct position. Okay, here we go. There we go. Nice. Awesome. You kind of have to squeeze in between two walls to get there, so it can be a little bit tricky sometimes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So we. And be yeah. Yay. <laughs> oh. Hey, you knew it was dear. <laughs> you already knew. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, let's go back outside. Get some fresh air, you know. It's a little musty in there. Yeah, I like the little animal animals in this whole game. There are a lot of like a fauna and flora here that uh, has their pretty much their own story in the art, art book and stuff like that. Like the developer team really gets got um, pretty wild during this games games art work and stuff. So. Oh yeah, oh, and they're doing it as well. The new game too. Yeah, uh, no, most definitely, most definitely they are. It's, it's gonna uh, be really awesome, and beautiful, beautiful, beautiful stuff. Yeah. Uh, the, the, the pictures that I have seen so far. In, uh, they, finally, I, they finally got a model for uh, Alice's old character too. It's really nice. Okay, <laughs> yeah, cool. Yeah, but anyways, let's keep going. Uh, uh, now he's gonna try to attempt. Uh, you're gonna try to go for the skip right here? Yes, most definitely I'm gonna, I'm gonna try. Alrighty, let's see if we can skip this fight. Just give him some, give him some breathing room. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> That's nice. Nice. This keep is really nice to get because the if 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 you mess it up uh, in the first try or maybe the second try, the fight starts to really pop in and everyone is attacking you, the flying creatures, and you just can't attempt it anymore. So this yeah. was a really nice yeah, first even, try. Even, even, even if you uh, mess it up uh, with a bit, uh, you can still get uh, hit by the uh, guard guard and get your hysteria and fight it that way but yeah. that's keep almost all maze it saves like 30 seconds or something like that so it's a nice 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 to have after we uh, did some uh, extra practicing let's say it's extra practicing we did some extra practicing of uh, our <laughs> today so so that it, th that will be good because now i know it a little bit better again i know it a little better you know definitely yes so yeah this section's a little interesting uh in order to defeat the executioner alex had to eat some cake and uh now she's her bigger version now so she's able to smash and destroy everything in her everything, yeah <laughs> yeah so <laughs> this is again a um, a little mini game that is just happening happening during the uh after after the uh, may skip here and um, it's kind of a little, little shorter one, I guess. So we just have to have to skill four of these guns and be done with it. And after that one, there's uh, pretty much a prologue. So end of that chapter, pretty much is again just shooting some roses there, nothing much to it. And then we then we enter the end game, so to speak, which is the which is the chapter five. And chapter five, of course, is one of our favorite chapters. Oh Although yeah. The most, most, most oh, yeah. disturbed ones as well. But, really interesting um, chapter. Yes, to say the least, yeah. And it could make or break a run, depending on what you're doing. Yeah. Out of nowhere. Uh, let's I'm... say it takes everything that we did up to this point and mixes it all together. Yeah, Makes it yeah. Dessert. And we have to make it a little bit better. <laughs> 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 so we have to step up a little, uh, little bit, little bit. <laughs> nothing much, nothing much. So, uh, but but basically, basically, I'm chapter five is is already already in size and, uh, Cease and it's gonna be it's gonna be awesome. Just to wait, it's gonna be it's cause it's gonna be great. So let's go. Let's Away. go for There's it. No reason to proceed. Okay, so basically this is the <coughs> slide that starts the last part of the third four. And after that, after this one, we will actually uh, start uh, talking to the queen in the throne, throne, throne room. The throne room. <laughs> the throne. <laughs> throne room. 
Yes. Um, but. Uh, yeah. Our big surprise will be that the Red Queen is actually a Lizzie, uh, Alice's sister, because of course this is not um, the same Wonderland completely that, that was before, it's a corrupted version, so Alice learns what happened to her her sister before the, uh, the fire, that is the main part of the story, that we are not gonna touch any, uh, like, yeah, it's let's just say it's a little complicated, and because yeah. of the discovery. Oh, ooh. All right. Uh, worst case, you might have to. Yeah, there we go. Okay, but yeah, it's uh, it's a little weird. If you're into, if you want to learn the story a bit more, uh, I recommend picking this up. It's not for the faint of heart for some parts though, but it's still a very nice game. Uh, and let's just say because of this discovery that Alice has learned, she is losing her mind completely. <laughs> yeah, As you so, can see now. <laughs> so Alice is not doing too well here, but um, but basically at, at this point Alice is like Wonderland and the real world has been mixed up pretty completely. So at this point Alice is in an asylum. Uh, basically uh, most likely in her like own mind still. Um, but uh, he also she also finds herself pretty soon uh, in Hyde Park, London, and then uh, she uh, meets one of the insane children uh, that we find uh, in this chapter, if you casually would play, play through. And, um, and basically, uh, they tell us oh, no. to help them, and uh, by helping them, we are helping, helping the others in real world. And, uh, we are gonna be troll maker of this this chapter. Yes. yes. And uh, just to make sure everyone understands, it's jelly all over the walls. It's not really uh, it's not really anything bad. It's just jelly that someone spilled the jar. So uh, <laughs> just don't it was a really like big that. jar. Yes, it's really big, and uh, you know, let's you see can't asylum. Do jars. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anything could happen here. Yeah. Anything can happen, and here we are waking up in a Hyde Park. Okay, here we are, and w when we run this certain direction, we don't have to actually follow the normal road, which is following the lamp post and stay in the light. We can just do this, and we enter into the one land immediately. And here we start this doll themed chapter. Well, so here we go. The safe road. Okay, here we go. We just do a little, these little skips using the vents around uh around the whole whole chapter uh we have to do a couple of couple of mini games um they are off with their heads are their names the, uh what i think is they are the best mini games in the um in the game as yes, running wise they are dynamic and fast and uh, uh kind, of, kind of nice and colorful as well <laughs> although we yeah. are rolling dull head while we are doing that but still still so fun game fun game oh, definitely uh, oh, graphically right. and gameplay wise, this is one of my favorite chapters for sure with the first one. Okay, oh, no, 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 very, very, very annoying. So, uh, we need Hysteria to defeat them. And, uh, he'll just go into it right now. A little too late on the swing, but that's alright. And it is yeah. dead. Nice. Cool. And for right. roses, that's nice. Into the bay. <laughs> okay, here Follow we the go. Head. Yeah. Here we go. So, 
this is, I guess, the this is sort of the frog's way part of the map. So yeah. it's a little tricky, tricky part next. So um, as well. So hopefully, hopefully all, all ends well. So we don't, we just don't want to get hit here, basically, and drop down and die. Just if you get hit once, there will be like five. Five flying little enemies that want to finish the job quite instantly, so... Okay, See, it's, it's the, almost the end of the game, so of course they have to throw everything at you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they are feeling the pressure. <laughs> <laughs> I do not. <laughs> I mean, a little pressure always makes us run faster, you know? Yeah, Ooh. this is true. Careful there. Just... Ooh. That was close. <laughs> <laughs> also, I was reading else. chat a little bit and I saw one of the people that were saying they, they were rediscovering the game and want to play it again. So oh! Really oh! Okay, I got comboed. Oh! Hey. oh. The at double least, hysteria least, setup. Yeah, at least you're spawning with the four hearts, at least. Yeah, oh. that's a good thing. So, somebody hit me now. Yeah, this wasn't so much for the Oh! I comboed again! Wombo combo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. This have is why we're this, this is the most. Uh, <laughs> not like a uh, weirdest amount of RNG ever. Oh, the no. Lady who is standing there. Is it this even long enough, bro? Hopefully. Nope. Oh, come on. Yeah. That sucks so much. So, yeah, there's a, there's a thing. Yeah, the doll babies tend to get stuck in like an invulnerability pose where it protects its chest, which you're supposed to attack. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, just... Doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just do, do, do it again. Okay, here we go. This is awesome. Yes, without okay. this terrier, this enemy is really tanky. Oh, oh, there we go. Okay. Attack the tall baby now. There we go. And that's how it's done, yeah. It's averted. For now. Uh, Fights have not been easy in this run, that we can say for sure. Yeah, yeah. they've been pretty much the hardest, hardest RNG wise that is possible, basically. Um, you just get all the RNG luck in this run. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but, I, but I don't mind, so it's kind of nice. So, if anybody is wondering to if they want to start running Alice, this is awesome actually showcase about that because this is the worst you are gonna get the RNG wise. So, <laughs> usually you get you get luckier. <laughs> so, uh, it's, a, it's a nice game, you should definitely give it a go. Here go. There you go. Yeah, That's there's a, a nice point. little checkpoint right there that's under the stairs, so. You skip that and go straight to this fight, which could be tedious. There you go. Right. This is kind of one of those quite nice choreograph ones. Where I can just. Oh what, no. What is with the doll girls today? Okay. Get far here back we go. As you can. I have to go back more. There you go, okay. Yeah, nice. <laughs> nice dodge. <laughs> Ooh, okay. And then one more. There you go. Here we go. Nice. Easy okay. <laughs> Easy. Nicely saved. <laughs> Wasn't even worried there. Wasn't even <laughs> worried. I wasn't worried. What are you talking about? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I just, you know, crazy, th crazy things crossed my mind here. So, <laughs> you know, <laughs> weird stuff. Weird stuff. No need to be worried. We know this stuff. We know this stuff. Okay. Oh, come on. Oof. Yeah. Oh. 
Worst case, you might have to go around. But that's uh, a walk of shame, but you do it. You got it. There you uh, go. Nice. This long jumps can be really tricky sometimes. You have to master the timing between each jump. <laughs> yes. Uh, at least that jump is done and over with. We have a few more tricky jumps coming up, though. Oh. Uh, ooh, oh. Darn. <laughs> <sighs> all right so we have to collect some puzzle pieces just to progress forward because we just randomly have to throw it into the chapter and uh with our uh we also have to deal with one of these uh three-headed monsters again uh but luckily we have hysteria so oh you already have full there you go Okay, there we go. <laughs> oh, the animation! There she goes! <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> uh, Superman Alice. Uh, no, I don't want to reset this. We go. Okay, we can we can skip all those little puzzles like these, um, like these ones. But of course, the real mini games are something that we cannot. Cannot really skip. Here we go. Okay. okay, and there's a long way until the next battle comes, but I need to get the my four roses here. Or three plus roses, otherwise otherwise there is no no chance for hysteria. Oh, basically there is actually is uh right before sixty six skip, but um <laughs> That's a baby right there, six 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 skip. <laughs> yeah. That's uh, the most notorious of them all. Yeah. So, um, all right, it's time for off with her head. Awesome. This this is this is nice. It's a nice chill part. Yeah. Some little things that we can do to kind of uh, make it faster, but eh, it's but, fine. Uh, it's good. It's nice and chill. I love these mini games. The favorites by far. Yeah. You actually awesome. playing a lot here. Definitely. It's also a good time to release one's mind. You know, if you have anything important to say. <laughs> This is good, good for donations or anything, anything related to uh, Alzheimer's. I can definitely help with that. So yeah, I'd like to remind everyone that we're raising money for the Alzheimer Fund. Uh, right now we've raised a total of $3,464 and I think it's definitely possible to reach 3500 before the end of this run, right? Oh, most I definitely, most definitely. I think we can. So, yes. uh, yeah, also a reminder to everyone that uh, there are prizes that you can win during this event. If you make a total of $30 in donations, you'll be eligible to win a Fuse Sonic Elite XG270QG monitor provided by Fuse Sonic. And if you donate $50 or more, you'll be eligible to win a Nintendo Switch provided by Kaspersky. So, yeah. If, you wanted that extra bit of incentive, you know, that's definitely a thing to go for. Awesome. Awesome. Thanks you. Thank you. Uh, so this is, this is just a, a little faster mid game in this one. This is the first of the two, uh, two games here. So, um, but after this one is the, is the biggest or most notorious skip of them all, the 66 one. So the 66 skip starts like so uh so yeah we got to do a couple of things here we gotta do a little bit of jumps uh use some extra glitch uh, glitch jumps and uh use some death barriers coming up uh let's say it's a little complex when you first start learning it but there is some alternate ways to make this a lot easier for you we're gonna try to do it as best as we can though with the optimized route yeah most definitely, and uh, and uh, basically most of the, if not every, like everything in Alice, pretty much, even though there are a lot of skips, a lot of stuff to learn and stuff, uh, they are all pretty much consistent. So uh, every run can be um, skip-wise can be really good. So 
Yeah. So, so there's no RNG yeah. things basically during the skips itself. The battle, battle sometimes can give you a trouble, but I guess. <laughs> All right, so let's give you a little bit of a breathing room. Oh. Okay. He's trying to clip into this wall to get the extra height to make the next jump possible. There we so, go. Oh, All right. Right. So I look, I look basically down to this on the world when I'm when I'm uh, hitting high enough height with my jump, uh, and then then I turn my camera to obstruction uh, to uh, really uh, respawn the world, and uh, then I jump here and drop while floating a little bit uh, to get get that nice to, get to nice. spawn. Nice. Okay. All right. So this is the next hard part of this skip. Uh, let's see if we can get enough momentum. Ooh, yes. Oh. Got enough. Nice. Yeah. All right, cool. So Look at scary at first. There we go. Nice. Okay. So that's a little bit finicky there. If you don't get enough momentum, you can't reach that first pillar. If you don't get the extra jump on the second, you miss that and you have to do it all over again. And this part can be a little bit tricky if the camera's not set right. We have to clip into this little box on our right. So I, I keep it to the left so the world doesn't despawn. Now I turn it to the right, so the world will despawn, and then I turn it back left, so I'm inside the box, so I can climb. Do it. Go for it. Ooh, there That's we go. Sad. Yeah. Be nice. <laughs> uh. Okay. So this is nice. This is nice. All right. So now we're coming up to the gl most glitchiest fight in this whole game. Uh, so it it just there's so much it just throws at you. And Hysteria is pretty much the way to go for this. Yeah, this is probably the hardest one in the game. Come on, hit me! Alright, go for the doll. Uh, doll baby. Or you can do that too. Yeah. I'm gonna go... I'm gonna there. go for yeah. everyone. That's out of the way. Watch out, watch out! Ooh! <laughs> Alright, so now you have to deal with those three things, and you should be good. Oh, you just killed one of them. Cool, 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 cool. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Do you had enough hurts for that? Yeah. Bliss RNG right there. Okay. Man, uh, where were the roses when they were before? Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in this battle you get a lot of roses. That is, that is kind of uh, something something that the developers think must have thought that this this is this is insane. We we have to give them back something. Yeah. So, <laughs> Definitely. There is always a lot of roses here, I guess. So. Yeah. So I did that to, to uh, hysteria thing because I, I guess Amish did it in in his former world record run. So. That was actually kind of a good good strat in that as well. So it's a it's a because uh, the the beats baby does three damage with with their whatever they are spitting out of their mouth. So uh, so that is you can get easy area if those little flying black things don't shoot you at the same time. But there's always a possibility to get bowed down pretty quickly in these games, so these big battles. Yeah. Okay. Well, all right, it's time to go into a uh, little pathway. Uh, <laughs> very interesting part pathway. Of the Following the hand again, yeah. <laughs> here we go. Uh, so, so here's the next skip coming up right away. So basically. Basically, we have one try and second try with hysteria, which might be really fast. Let's have to do the other way around there, and then we are triggering uh, this little mini game upstairs. Yeah. Normally, we would get there after the fight and stuff, but there's a little, a little bit of the trigger uh, can be seen through the through the floor or roof of the first floor so that is awesome okay so oh, nice. uh so here is the last mini game of the whole game so then 
there is just a tiny bit of uh, and almost all skips has been done there's one in this game and then there's one in a the last area the right. yeah, last yeah. area yeah Whew, and then we're reaching the end just like that Whew. also i'm letting you know you're making good time right now yes <laughs> awesome nice Hopefully. yeah that was, that, that was actually pretty quick uh pretty nice uh Sometimes, sometimes the whoever did the uh, like physics uh, bounce the effects of, of that particular part of this ma uh, game uh, should be should be banned. Oh come on! Whew. Mm. Sometimes the runner himself should be banned. Oh god! <laughs> Don't say that now. Oh come on! Why why doesn't get it? Oh yeah. Okay now. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, you won't be able to reach the cycle in time now, but that's okay. Yeah, I, do, I, don't, I, don't, I don't mind. I get them. Um, I will do something else then. Okay, here we go. Oh. A little bit of improv. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. There we go. Nice. Oh. Might be. Ooh. Oh, oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> That's a tricky one, but yeah. You got yeah, it. It's a mini game, but it can really be difficult sometimes. Yeah, there's some time, uh, really, uh, kind of very important timings that need to be done that they save time. So if you can, if you can, like, first cycle something, it's a really important to, to be the first, uh, one spot, the correct spot at the correct time. So. Alright, so. Yeah. so Oof, that was close. So there's a little skip that we can do there here that kind of avoids all this uh, part of the area. Come on. Uh, get it okay. right. Here we go. There we go. Oh. Nice. So, so just so get go near the will be in a mini game. What is happening? Oh, right. Oh, my camera went insane there a bit. Luckily, <laughs> luckily I remember <laughs> what to push. <laughs> Without <laughs> seeing, that's, that's nice. There we are. <laughs> so the head was starting to panic, but the finger still knew what to do. So that's the right like muscle memory. Alrighty. Yeah. Good luck on this, my friend. Oh yeah, thank you. Last well, major I part. <laughs> this is this is this is one of those newer 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 skips. So let us see. This yeah. is to skip a really big battle. Okay. All right, that's the hard part. The easy part should be good, unless I just jinxed it. But good breather. Oh, you didn't. All right. Oh yeah, float down. <laughs> just in case. <laughs> All right, cool, awesome. All right, so normally that fight is a really, really difficult fight, one of the hardest in the game, and it's the last major fight in the game before yeah. you reach the doll maker but luckily with that skip we can avoid that entirely and let's say the old strat for that was a pain <laughs> yeah no, that that was actually something that really um was that was like the one of the hardest hardest things even though it was really short but it was really hard to get consistently if i if my memory serves me right like to Definitely. hit that wall yeah <laughs> get a good footing from the wall while jumping towards it, kind of a, from yeah. a very weird angle. <laughs> so this portion of the whole story, you find out who the doll maker really is and you realize it's Dr. Bumby. And uh, let's say he plays a crucial role in Alice's life. Uh, yeah. Maybe you want to keep that a surprise for the viewers, don't we? Yeah. Yeah. So in case anybody wants to pick this up because the story is pretty good. <laughs> very He's... crazy, but pretty good. Yeah, it's a uh, it's a uh, pretty crazy. Even they kind of a uh, in in a uh, inside the K eighteen kind of a uh, rating games as well. I think it's it's kind of a, have a lot of like like um, rough um, um, or, um, themes, the... if I may say. Yeah. yeah. Themes. I think that's the most fitting word for this. So we finally reached the infernal train, and we're reaching the final boss fight of this game. <laughs> what a ride, everybody! 
it has been quite a ride and it's not over yet. <laughs> so. We gotta we gotta fight the doll maker. Yeah. Uh, boy. And the doll maker can be very nice or very mean, and we're about to find out what he will do tonight. Okay. Or today. <laughs> so this is kind of a uh, reactive stuff in the sense that we are just uh, waiting, waiting the maker. Okay. And then there's a clip kind of a um, sequences. If this goes all goes well, there's three sequences here. First, the the left hand, and then the right hand, and then both hands together. And um, and basically the the hard part is the um, avoiding the attacks because most of these attacks will kill you instantly or just reduce your heart to one which Hysteria is going to play a crucial role if we can get this right on the second phase yeah yeah and then at the third phase uh when the second uh this hand explodes also there's uh many times there's this little black dudes that represent just a moment ago as well they drop a lot of roses and while we get hysteria here we don't want to get accidental roses anymore here to get past uh main fight with uh with this one so okay that was really good nice all right so we have to wait for a certain attack to activate which i believe is this one nice okay all righty so let's hope these uh, Insidious runes should spawn here, so be very careful with them. Yeah. Alright. Oh. Avoid that rose and avoid them. <laughs> come on, insidious ruin. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh shit. Oh, oh yeah, I think you're fine. I think you're okay. Uh... Just, 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 just chill. Just chill. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, it's a. Oh, there we go. Don't okay. Go there. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. That was close. Yeah. The big fingers. Oh, oh. Oh, what are you doing? Oh no. What are you doing? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Not even good. Not even good. Oh, right. Freaking G right there. All right, hysteria is the way, folks. Hysteria is the way. And the doll maker is finished. Okay. All right. Really nice. All so right. It's, it's actually about twenty seconds right. until the time still. Uh. Uh, this is a very slow walk, and then we are gonna uh, time when the camera starts to go up, so it's around 3, 2, 1, and Ooh. time, yeah. Uh, there nice. we go. Yeah. Can't go home again. Congratulations, Seth. <laughs> <Steph. laughs> thank nice. you, thank you. That's not a bad time. Uh, you got one. Yeah. Uh, 156, 38. Yes. 156, yeah. Yeah. That is actually more, more awesome than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, you got it exactly as we expected it to be. It's yes, good. yes, that is actually yeah. actually yeah, quite the yeah, problem. But you know what? It works out, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is always does, it always does. You know, with, with 500 hours into the game or something, yeah. It's supposed to. <laughs> <laughs> well, GG. GG, okay. definitely. Yes. GG. So, uh, I, I want to thank you all. Yes, this this was this was it um, uh, from us. And uh, I want to I want to thank you a lot uh, for in, in, if you enjoyed this run and uh, if you watched this through. Uh, I ho hope you enjoyed it and uh, enjoyed our commentary and uh, had a had a nice time. So I hope to see you later on. If you like Alice more, join, uh, join our Discord <laughs> server and we have an awesome time. So let's let's go with that. So.
<laughs> I leave it to the good com um, hosts.